Now here are some of that vervet's primate cousins, baboons. Well, that male was interested in the camera. Now baboons eat a wide variety of plants as well as small animals. So will they be any more interested in our sweet corn? Let's see. Great. Wait for a couple of minutes. Here comes a baboon, followed by another. No hesitation here. They love that sweet corn. Now baboons, like vervet monkeys, are very social. Baboons live in groups called troops, ranging from 10 to almost 200 animals. These baboons are sisters. Sister baboons socialize and spend time close together. Now look over your right shoulder. Here comes a young male. Will the females share their sweet corn with him? No, the sisters do not want to share with that young male. Now we can see that females and males seem to behave differently. Females, like these sisters, stay in one troop for their entire lives. But for males, it's different. They leave their home troop once they become adults. And after that, they often leave their new troop and go to another new troop every few years. In baboon troops, there is a clear hierarchy. The status of males generally depends on their size, age, and how good they are at fighting. But the status of these females is largely inherited from their mothers, and it can grow further during their life in the troop. Now it looks like this female has decided to take the sweet corn away, before any other baboons try to take it. So this lone male gets to eat what's left, and you gave sweet corn to baboons.